This video is sponsored by the Gaffia movie in theaters now. All right, in this video, I'm going to go through two examples of how you can do synthetic division when your divisor is not of the form x minus k. So here we have something like 15x squared plus x plus 5 over 3x minus 1. So the issue here is that you have this 3 as the coefficient of x. So we know we want something, again, of the form x minus k. So before I show you how to do this, let's just go through this really quickly with polynomial long division just so we know what to expect. So we would start out by just saying what is 15x squared over 3x. Well, this is going to be equal to 15 divided by 3 is going to be 5, and then x squared over x is just x. So this becomes 5x. So let me put that right there. So this is 5x, and then we're just going to multiply. So we're going to say 5x times 3x. Well, 5 times 3 is 15, and then x times x is x squared. And then we're going to do 5x times negative 1, and that's just minus 5x. Now remember, this right here is going to get subtracted away. So if you need, you can wrap this with parentheses and put a minus out in front. And essentially all that's doing is telling you to change the sign of each term inside. So I'm just going to do that. So let's make this a minus and make this a plus. And so 15x squared minus 15x squared, that's zero. And then x plus 5x, that would be 6x. And then we're going to drop this next term down. So let's go plus 5 like that. And now we're going to say... 6x divided by 3x. So 6x divided by 3x. And of course, this is going to end up being 2. So let me put plus 2 like that. And we'll multiply here. So 2 times 3x is 6x. And then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Again, you're going to change the sign of each guy here. So this is going to become a minus, and this is going to become a plus. And now, if we do 6x minus 6x, that's 0. And of course, 5 plus 2 is 7. So this is 7 right there. And again, that's your remainder. So I can say that this is equal to 5x plus 2, so that's my quotient, plus 7 is the remainder, and you write this over your denominator, or you could say your divisor. So this is 3x minus 1. Now let's say that we wanted to actually do this with synthetic division. What could we do? Well, again, we want this right here, this coefficient of x to the first power, to be 1. So if I want to get rid of that 3, I can divide by 3, or you could say multiply by a third. Well, to legally do this with a fraction, you're going to multiply the numerator denominator by one third. One third over one third is one. If I multiply by one, I'm not changing the value. I'm just changing what it looks like. So really what you're going to do is say 15x squared times a third, that's 5x squared, then plus one third times x is one third x, and then plus five times a third is five thirds. This would be over in the denominator, one third times three x would just be x, and then minus one third times one is one third. So now that this is of the form x minus k, you can just grab this as the k value and put that out here, and you can use the synthetic division. So you'll just grab this five right here, put that there, you'll grab one third there, put that there, and then grab your five thirds there and put that there. So let's run through this really quickly, and then I'll show you why you get a different answer for the remainder and what you can do to change it back over. So drop the five down, and then one third times five is going to be five thirds, so five thirds, and then one third plus five thirds, let me do that off to the side so nobody's lost. So one third plus five thirds, that is equal to six thirds, which is two. So this right here is going to be two, and then one third times two is two thirds. And then five thirds plus two thirds is going to be seven thirds. Let me fix this and make it a little bit better. So this right here would be seven thirds. Now, if you remember from earlier, this part was the same. So remember, this drops by one degree. So this right here would be five X plus two. But this is different from what we got before. Last time we got a remainder of seven. Now we have a remainder of seven thirds. So I'm gonna go plus seven thirds over. So this is where you have to be very careful. So I'm going to say that this is equal to, and let me paste this right here. So this, again, because we changed the form, has to be written over this. So you wanna write X minus one third. Now, it's fine if you want to get it back into this form right here, where you would have 3x minus 1 as the denominator. Again, to match what we got with the polynomial long division, we got 5x plus 2 plus 7 over 3x minus 1. All you have to do in that situation is just multiply this by 3 over 3. You're just undoing what you did there. So this would be equal to, don't touch this, this is going to stay unchanged. So this is 5x plus 2. And then plus, well, 3 times 7 thirds, that's just going to be 7. And this is over, 3 times x is 3x, and then minus 3 times a third would be 1. So now you get 5x plus 2 plus 7 over 3x minus 1. And again, that perfectly matches what we got with the polynomial long division. So before we go to the next example, I want to point out two things. The first thing is that if you report your answer like this, it's not wrong. 
just make sure that that seven thirds is over that denominator of X minus one third. That's fine. That is a perfectly acceptable answer. If you want it to match what you get with polynomial long division, then you need to take this step right here where you multiply by three over three. Remember three over three is just one. So this right here is equal to this right here. We're just changing the form. It's just like if I'm going from two fourths to one fourth. The main mistake that I see people making is they take the seven thirds and they immediately put it over that original denominator of three X minus one. That would be incorrect. So just pay close attention to what you're doing. Again, if you're changing the form over, so if this is your denominator that you're working with with the synthetic division, when you get your remainder, make sure you put it over that denominator. And then once you have that set up, then you can convert it back over into this form right here. All right, let's look at one more of these. And I think you should pause the video and try this on your own. Do the polynomial long division first and then do the synthetic division. Then you can unpause and watch me do it if you want to. So we have 30x cubed minus 53x squared minus x plus 11 over 3x minus 5. So again, I'm just going to start by doing the polynomial long division just to see what we get. So we would start by saying 30x cubed over 3x. So 30 divided by 3 is 10. And x cubed over x is going to be x squared. So this would be 10 x squared. Then we're going to multiply. So 10x squared times 3x. 10 times 3 is 30. x squared times x is x cubed. Then 10x squared times negative 5. That's going to be negative. 10 times 5 is 50. And then you would have x squared. Again, you're going to change the sign of each guy here. So this becomes a minus and this becomes a plus. And so basically 30x cubed minus 30x cubed, that's zero. Negative 53x squared plus 50x squared. Well, that's going to be negative 3 x squared. Now I'm going to drop this guy down. So I have my minus x right there. And then I'm just going to say that I want negative 3x squared over 3x. Let me fix this 3. So let's cancel this with this and say that this is negative 1. And then x squared over x, well, that's just going to be x. So this becomes negative x. So let's write negative x right there. Get rid of this. So negative x times 3x, that would be negative 3x squared. Negative x times negative 5, that would be plus 5x. Now, we've got to flip the signs. So this becomes a plus, and then this becomes a minus, like that. And let's go through and combine some like terms here. So negative 3x squared plus 3x squared is 0. Negative x minus 5x would be negative 6x. And then we're going to drop down that plus 11. So let's go plus 11. And so now we're going to do negative 6x, so this guy right here, divided by our 3x. And of course, that's going to give me negative 2. And let me write negative 2 like that. And we're going to multiply. So negative 2 times 3x, that's going to be negative 6x. And then negative 2 times negative 5 is plus 10. Okay, so again, we have to change the sign of each guy here. So this is plus, and this would be a minus. And so we're going to say that negative 6x plus 6x is 0. And then 11 minus 10 is 1. So that's your remainder right there. It's 1. So coming back up, let's say that this is equal to, let me paste this in. So you have 10x squared minus x minus 2, and then plus your remainder was 1, and you're going to write it over this denominator here, which is 3x minus 5. So again, this is what we're looking for. If you wanted to do this with synthetic division, again, you could just multiply the numerator and denominator by one third. One third over one third is 1, so you're not doing anything illegal. You're just changing the form. So you would end up with 10x cubed minus 53 over 3 x squared minus 1 third x plus 11 thirds. So that's your numerator over your denominator would be x minus 5 thirds. So again, now this is of the form x minus k. So this right here goes right there. And then you're going to take your 10, your negative 53 over 3, your negative 1 third, and then your 11 thirds. So just set it up like that. Let me just come down here and do it. We're going to drop this down. 5 thirds times 10 would be 50 thirds. So negative 53 over 3 plus 50 thirds. Let me fix this 3. That would be negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1. So this right here would be negative 1. So 5 thirds times negative 1 is negative 5 thirds. Negative 1 third plus negative 5 thirds. Let me write that out. So negative 1 third plus negative 5 thirds. This is negative 6 thirds, which equals negative 2. Okay, let's put negative 2 right there. So then 5 thirds times negative 2, that's going to be negative 10 thirds. So negative 10 thirds. And so 11 thirds minus 10 thirds is equal to 1 third. Okay, so this is 1 third. Again, this part's going to match. This is the part that you're going to have to change if you want to match that original answer. So we're going to say this is 10x squared minus x, then minus 2. And this would be plus, again, this one third right here 
has to go over, let me grab this and let me paste this in like this. We'll say this equals, again, this is the denominator you're working with. So one third goes over this x minus five thirds. It doesn't go over three x minus five. Again, that's the common mistake. Since you change the form over, this is what you need to use. Now, if you want to match what you got earlier, again, the 10 x squared minus x minus two plus one over three x minus five, all you have to do is take this guy right here and multiply it by three over three. Again, that's one, you're not doing anything illegal. You're just using that to change the form of this. Again, this is okay, you don't have to do anything. So we're gonna say this equals 10x squared minus x minus two, then plus three times a third would be one. This is over, three times x would be three x, and then minus three times five thirds is five. So now it's a perfect match. So 10x squared minus x minus two plus one over three x minus five. Again, it's not wrong if you write it like this. You can put your answer as 10x squared minus x minus two plus one third over x minus five thirds, because this right here is just another form of this right here. By multiplying by three over three, which is one, we obtain one over three x minus five.